According to a report in Deadline, Universal Pictures is developing a new version of the classic Christmas Carol story in the film of in the form of <laughs> Humbug. The report claims that the film will star Ice Cube as the Scrooge character, who in this rendition of the story is a successful real estate mogul. Staying true to the original story, Scrooge is then shown the error of his ways after visits from three different ghosts. John Barcel, the idea of Humbug starring Ice Cube. All right, first of all, let me say this. I'm actually a big fan of Ice Cube. <laughs> Um, Ice Cube was kind enough to get together with me and Dennis, uh, actually, uh, last year. And he was gracious and funny uh, and just terrific. A lot shorter than I thought he would be, too. But just he's he's terrific. <laughs> Ice Cube playing Ebenezer Scrooge sounds like something out of a Ben Stiller movie to me. Um, I, I got So this is weird and odd. So I'm going to sell it. But with the giant asterisk beside it that I don't know what their full concept of this. I don't know what their vision for this is. This could be a brand new Christmas classic. But until I get a, a little bit of a peek as to what their vision for the film is and what's going to turn out to be, it just kind of sounds a little bit silly to me for now. So for now, I'm going to sell it. But I am looking forward to seeing you know, the first pieces of promotional material as it starts coming out, say, six months from now. And then maybe we'll change our minds. For now, this is sell. Mark? I'll buy it because Ice Cube, though he does have a winning smile, rarely uses it. He looks, <laughs> he like, looks like a like Scrooge. A I, this is a true story. One time I was on a plane flying back from a gig in Charlotte, and I'm walking past first class. I myself was sitting coach and sitting on this side of the cabin is LL Cool J and on this side is Ice Cube. LL Cool J is literally high-fiving everybody who's walking on the plane. He's having a great time <laughs> taking pictures. Ice Cube is sitting there with the classic Ice Cube frown like somebody gave him a, a warm Coors Light. Like he just looks so <laughs> upset. And, 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 and But then he would like take a picture if you asked him and I didn't ask him but like he just seems like the guy that you have to convince to be happy and to celebrate life. So that's why he makes sense in a modern day retelling of Scrooge. <laughs> it, by the time this movie comes out, it's going to be almost 30 years since Scrooge Ed with Bill right. Murray came yes. out and was the comedic version of that. So I think it'll be about time that you get a new telling of it. So I will buy it, particularly if Dr. Dre plays any one of the ghosts. And don't, forget, <laughs> don't forget Michael Caine. I believe it was Michael Caine in The Muppet version of Scrooge That's as right. well, which is That's actually right. surprisingly and good. And Zemeckis just recently did that all 3D with Jim one. Carrey. With Jim Carrey. That yeah, was incredible. That was Visually, it was stunning. I totally buy this. I think it's perfect casting. Ice Cube, look at that sour face. Yeah. He's Scrooge right there. I mean, his, him always like, man, what'd you do with that thing? You know, like, if you go back to any one of the roles that he played, except for like Triple X 2, he's sour. He's always like complaining about stuff. Like, I can't believe you did that. Even in 21 Dr Jump Street, he's flipping tables. How dare you date my daughter trying to kill people? Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we done yet? Yeah. I So I think. If they do it right, you're right. I mean, I'm buying it because I think Ice Cube can actually do this character great, being just a sourpuss, a penny pincher. Like, I can't believe you spent all this money. And then the error of his ways for being selfish and, you know, not looking, taking care of his family. Who knows how they're going to, what they're going to do, how they're going to update it. I, obviously, I, I feel they'll do a modern version of it. Uh, Dr. Dre should totally be Jacob Marley. That's who he should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of the things that people forget to about Ice Cube is that he is a writer. As well, mm -hmm. he he yeah. is is a creator. Actually, some going back to like Twenty Two Jump Street, he came up with a lot of his own lines in that movie. But also, what I thought was the single funniest line in Twenty Two Jump Street, I heard them telling the story about this. He actually came up with it was in that scene uh, when they're in the restaurant having dinner and there's a buffet, and he's like, "What does man got do to get a glass of water?" And then what he said in between takes apparently was he told Jonah Hill, "Hey, hey, say somebody get this man a glass of water. He's black." Then pause, then go, he's had a very hard time. <laughs> and, and then, so that so then they play out that scene. And it, it and for sure enough, it, to me it was like the fun, the funniest moment in that film was in Channing Tatum. The bell goes off and he realizes yes. that yes. Jonah had slept with his daughter. But I thought the funniest line of the scene, like Ice Cube is quick, man. He yeah. comes up with some really funny stuff. And it would be interesting. I'd like to see him bring a little bit of his humor sensibilities to the movie. That could be really cool. I, and yeah, I mean, you're bringing that up. Makes me want to see who are they going to cast as the ghost. Yeah, let's have Chris yeah. Tucker. Let's have his Friday. Why not? <laughs> Get all of them. Yeah. Get Bill Murray to be one ah. of the ghosts. Wow. Get now, Bill Murray to be We are goes. cooking up a delicious stew of a Christmas. <laughs> ride Along? Film. Who's the guy in Ride Along with Kevin him? Hart? Kevin get, Hart. Get Kevin Hart Let's to be one of those ghosts. not get Kevin no, Hart. No, you're tired of him? No, no not, not yet, Kevin but I'm Hart. getting close. So I, I don't want right, to get overburdened right. with Kevin Hart because I want to appreciate him for a lot more, a lot longer. 